Hi, good morning Warner. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 16th of July 2022. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Warner Dean. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 26139219. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. So let's start with warm-up questions. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. How do you define great patient care? I believe great patient care means that you are patient-centered, which means that nurses address the patient's concerns and respond as quickly as they can to their needs. It means that a nurse should take time to educate them so that when the patient leaves, they feel as if you took good care of them and would recommend the facility to others. Describe a mistake you made on the job and how you handled it. I remember one of my initial days in the ICU as a registered nurse. That was a very busy day as I got one admission and a respiratory collapse. I did everything for my patients very genuinely. But unfortunately, I forgot to record the admission details of the new patient in the system, which was provided for our department. After my duty, I was back to the hostel, and when I recalled about the day, suddenly, I remembered the incident, and informed one of my colleagues during the second shift. Thankfully, she did it accurately with my guidance. Describe a time, when a co-worker or manager made you upset. Gratefully, I really haven't had such a bad experience. But one thing, which I remember was during my training period, we were divided into small groups, and one of our group members was late to the work, and because of that, the trainer gave punishment to the whole of our team. Even though, it was a bit frustrating. Later we all realized the value of being punctual, in the medical profession. Describe the most valuable constructive criticism, a former manager or charge nurse has given you. I still remember the day, when my ward in charge advised me to take off. It was during the start of my career, and I had worked for around 20 to 25 days without a single day off. I was pushing myself too hard, to gain the work speed of my co-workers, who were seniors to me. Later after her advice, I realized that, being healthy is an important factor, to take care of others. What's the most important quality, a nurse can have? Of course. I think it is important to have competence in nursing clinical skills, but the foremost quality a nurse should possess is a genuine want to help people who are sick and helpless. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role playing card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
your preparation time is over. Now you can start your OIT speaking role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Hello, my name is Warner Dean, and I am one of the registered nurses in this facility. Am I talking to Morris Mayer's mother? Yes, I am Morris's mother. How may I address you? You can call me Mahira. All right, Mahira. I am here to discuss Morris's test result. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that the results are not that good. That's why we took the time to let you know about it. I am informing the result following the assessment by a multidisciplinary team. Now, Mahira, you have to be strong and listen carefully to what I am saying. This is the time not to panic, but to stay strong and make the decision. Mahira, Morris's test result shows that he is suffering from a tumor at the back of his brain on the right side, and he needs surgery for his recovery. What? A tumor? No. What did I just hear? I realize that this comes as a shock to you. Mahira, I can reassure you that he's going to be okay and will make a complete recovery soon after the surgery. I thought that it was just the flu. Now you say that it is a brain tumor. Yes, regrettably it's true. The symptoms were much similar to the flu, but after proper investigations, we have confirmed the diagnosis. The headache was because of the pressure at the back of his head. I wish I could see my son. I haven't seen him for the last five hours. Where is he? Mihira, I apologize to you for your long wait. Morris had been sedated for the MRI scan. You will be able to see him shortly. Is he going to be okay? Yes, Mahira, of course. Morris will receive the best possible care. I assure you that he will be able to recuperate soon. Are you sure that he needs surgery? It's too scary. I know you are devastated. Mahira, surgery is the only option for his recovery. Don't be confused about the surgery. Morris is in safe hands. The doctor has advised surgery because the tumor needs to be removed from Morris's head. After the surgery, he will be monitored for one more week in the hospital in order to check the progress of his condition. Oh my God. Isn't my child going to be in a lot of pain? Being a mother, your concerns are reasonable. However, he will be under sedation during the surgery and afterwards, he will be administered painkillers. Definitely, painkillers will help him to relieve his pain. Majorly. I am worried about its chances of recurrence. Nothing to worry about it. As per the doctor's finding, Morris's tumor is non-cancerous, and these kinds of tumors did not reoccur. Moreover, the doctor will repeat MRI tests during the follow-up appointments to monitor his condition. What about the effect of tumor on Morris's cognitive abilities? Your thoughts are reasonable. Same with other surgeries, Morris needs some time for a complete recovery. Meantime, he may face some troubles with physical abilities, behavior, or speech difficulties. Don't worry, we will provide support for him to overcome any problems that he may have. Being a single parent, I am really anxious about the care I could give for his faster recovery. Your situation is really understandable. I will explain to you about the post-procedure assistance. During the time of discharge, we will provide you with detailed written and verbal instructions about his care at home. Additionally, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, speech therapists, and visiting nurses will be able to assist Morris in transitioning to healing at home. That will be of great help. Well, I am not a good mother. If I had taken enough care, Morris would have been fine today. It's all my fault. No, Mahira. It is not because of your fault. The news has confounded you. As you are a single parent, you are under a lot of pressure. Fortunately, you made the right decision to bring him to the hospital in his early stage itself. Now, it is equally important for you to take care of yourself at this stage. Yes, you are right. Moreover, I can give reference to some local support groups where you can meet many people who have survived brain tumors. I would really appreciate that, speaking to other parents, might help me to resolve my stress further. Sure. And Mahira, 
Do you have any other queries? No, you have given me great support during this hard time. I am really grateful to you. With pleasure, Mihira. Anyway, I will check on Morris's condition and let you know shortly. Thank you so much, nurse. You are welcome. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.